The Flash is the student forum. Four students. Produced by students. Students make all content. Decisions. Research. Write. Shoot. And broadcast. News stories they deem important to the East U community. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for The, the Flash. Flash. Welcome to today's, today's episode, episode of, of The, the Flash. Flash. I'm Georgia. And I'm Mati. Today's episode will be focused on a more serious topic. As you may have heard, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So today's episode will be focused on cancer. Our main story today is on East U's Dodgeball Tackle Cancer event by Maddie. And we also have a campus question on cancer by Mac. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for The, the Flash. Flash. Last week, we had many events to attend for fun or to win the Homecoming Cup for your grade. One of these events was the Dodgeball Tackle Cancer event. It wasn't just a dodgeball event for fun, though. It helped contribute to a great cause. Maddie has the story. You have probably heard all about the Homecoming Week activities, yet one in particular especially stands out. Eastview's Tackle Cancer Dodgeball event was hosted Wednesday night, bringing awareness to cancer, raising money for research, and uniting the school community. I think the reason we do Tackle Cancer is to spread awareness, uh, get, give money to cancer, and help research with all that. Uh, it's also fun for us to all be a team and a school to come together and do positive things for the world. When we were at the Tackle Cancer evening and everyone raised their hand who's been affected by uh, cancer, uh, one of our guiding principles is shared responsibility with community, and I think it's important as a school that we're all involved to understand the magnitude of this challenge. One of the aspects that makes this event so impactful is the shared experiences we have of cancer, an illness that will affect most of us in some way at some point in our lives. It's something that touches everybody's life. Everybody knows someone um, that either is dealing with cancer now or a loved one that maybe has um, succumb to the disease, so I, I think it's something that's on everybody's mind. While cancer has been the focus of this event in the past, this year it took on a whole new meaning, as it was dedicated to Frank Pascarella, a beloved band teacher who tragically passed away from cancer last year. Anytime you add a personal connection to a cause, I think you get greater followership with it. Uh, having Mr. Pascarella pass away, unfortunately, from cancer, I think brings a greater profile to the need in our school community. If we can continue to have this event, um, have it in honor of someone. You know, those of us that knew Mr. Pascarella uh, was a very passionate person. Um, and, you know, we miss him. We miss him to this day. And I think it makes our community understand a little bit better. It touches home a little bit more when, when you actually know somebody. Using Pascarella's story and hearing from Kara Levin's Randy Shaver speak on his experiences with the disease was impactful, emotional, and inspiring creating a memorable event for the years to come. Mr. Sherwin has one final piece of advice for students going forward. I just hope that moving forward, everyone would choose to join in. I, you know, we talk about in color day, everyone's gonna wear white or gray or blue or black. And they maybe don't even wanna wear white or gray or blue or black. And that's not the point, it's what, the, it's what that color represents. It's what it represents to them. And, we would say the same thing about the Tackle Cancer t-shirt. It's not the t-shirt, it's what it represents. It's what it's gonna do, and I, I think it's a small price to pay for that payoff down the road. Signing off from The Flash with help from Olivia and Paige, this is Maddie. Eastview raised $5,000 from the dodgeball tournament alone, not even counting t-shirt sales. It's an amazing opportunity to be able to raise money for a great cause like this one, while also having some fun playing dodgeball. I agree. Cancer is one of the most common causes of death, so they're really saving lives by doing this. Speaking of cancer, have you ever wondered how cancer has affected Eastview students and staff? Max, Savannah, and Damien have interviewed people on their stories. Has cancer affected you or someone that you know and how? 
Um, yeah, cancer actually has affected my family. Uh, we have some a few extended family members who have gone through that process. So my dad died of uh, lymphoma, and so uh, my youngest son was just turned one when this happened. And so we actually moved back from Rochester, uh, back here, so that we could spend more time with him. It happened really, really quickly. Uh, he was diagnosed, and within six months, he was gone. Um, yeah, my mom's uh, friends, she's a really close family friend. Um, a couple years ago, she got diagnosed with breast cancer, so it really affected her just kind of emotionally. My aunt has um, lymphoma, and she just recently had it. It's affecting our family really bad because um, she's, doing, she's not doing very well. She's pretty sick and she um, lives in Iowa, so we can't see her very often. Yeah, actually when I was in fifth grade or so, my mom had cancer down here somewhere in this part of her body and she ended up getting it like removed out of her body. Uh, yes, um, when I was younger, my grandmother passed away from cancer, so it has affected me and someone who I loved. What ways has that changed your outlook on life? Um, it's made me like definitely like life more she always told me to like never live your life at a limit. I wish my kids had been able to grow up with him. It's tough um, and it's a constant worry, you know, you don't want to lose another relative. And as it is, my mother and father-in-law both also died of cancer, so I only, they only have one grandparent left, um, yeah. which is my mom. So every time I do something, I always strive to go even better than I would do it if, you know, and yeah. I think it's changed my outlook on life to just not take things for granted. I think there's like a lot of small things in life that people don't realize uh, like how meaningful and important they are. Um, it's changed my outlook on life because I, I just like I, you just have to spend time with family more and like cherish the moments that you have with them. Um, it kind of changed it just because like life is, it, it's kind of short and um, so you got to cherish the moments that you have with people. Cancer is surprisingly common and it affects so many people. Have you ever met someone who's been affected by cancer? I know a couple people who have been affected by cancer. It's important to realize that no matter what you're struggling with, there will always be people who are willing to support you. That's why we have months and events like these in the first place. I think it's great that Eastview hosts these kinds of things to spread awareness and raise money for a good cause. That's all we have for today, Eastview. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.